Howdy guys, it's Matt. It's been a few days since I've made a video for this channel and uh, sorry about that. I had the wife in the hospital. She had a little little routine surgery kind of thing and I've been dealing with that. So uh, without more ado, let's go ahead and test out uh, some more of Windows 10 built-in antivirus Windows Defender. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure it's updated. Windows uh, Defender is kind of a kind of a big topic. People don't want to spend more for their antivirus, and they want to know if the built-in antivirus, anti malware, whatever you want to call it, they want to know if it's uh, worth it or not. So we're going to find out. So this is the second day of testing this, basically, and I just updated it. Uh, Ten thirteen. So we're fully updated, ready to roll. I found uh, a few samples from today. They are about two hours old. Let's drag the first one over. It's a PDF, an infected one. Let's go ahead and try to open that with a reader. Nothing detected. I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm assuming it's forged because it came in um, to our uh, spam filter and got caught as some kind of infection. All right, let's go ahead and pull open uh, this little bit of nastiness here. This is a worm, and I'm always uh, scared to work with worms. I've, I've had really bad experiences with worms in the corporate environment, so... Um, I know this VM, I don't think I have my VM fully protected, as in like my host might be exposed. I hope not. Oh. I think I, I think I did that. I, I don't remember. Whatever, I'll deal with it. Uh, okay, that's very nice. They, they packaged up this little worm for us. So let's pull that out. And let's see if anything gets detected. And yeah, Windows Defender is taking action to clean detected malware. Okay. Let's see if those things are gone. It's going nuts. Yeah, they're still there. Oh, one's gone. And this guy, the worm, uh, I guess the official worm is still there. <laughs> yeah. Skip. Let's go ahead and uh, scan it. Can we scan it with a right click? No, and that's a big bummer. I really wish that uh, Windows Defender had that built in. Um, we're going to do a scan at the end of the video. Uh, I have some kind of malicious exe. Let's pull that out. Ah, some kind of funky flash player. Sure, we'll agree. Not sure what it's trying to load. This is really slow. A lot of these samples I get do absolutely nothing, and some are uh, tremendous. A few days ago, I had 40 samples come in. I'm like, oh, I should really do that, do that video today, and uh, I just got wrapped up at home, so, so I missed out on some of those. Um, not sure what that's doing. Well, that's while that's working, let's go ahead and check out a PayPal invoice. I'm not. Hang on. Oh, I guess our desktop is busy. Installer, of course. All right. Well, hang on. All right. Well, something's going on. This PC is kind of frozen up. Um, I can't really do much with it right now. So something's. Something's going on. Something's infected. Something's getting jacked up. It must be. Uh, normally, I'm able to just go ahead and copy and then right-click and paste, but that's messed up. So 
I'm going to have to reboot this virtual machine and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I kind of got lost uh, in what I was doing. I had to actually reboot both these virtual machines. I could not copy and paste from one to the other, and I got to figure that stuff out. Uh, so let me go ahead and try to drag over a zip file, which should go now. And it's called a PayPal invoice, I think. Let's drag this out to the desktop. And it appears to be caught. Malware has been detected. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and whoops. pull open uh, this doc file. I'm not sure if it will be detected or not. Since I don't have Word installed, I'm not sure if it'll be yeah found. Well, well, we'll go ahead and do that final scan at the end, and we'll see if uh, that scan detects it or not. All right, let's go ahead and grab our last file, which is a docx, another Word file. Hmm, it appears as an archive, which is strange. Oh, okay, it's fake archive. Fake DOCX. And it's detected as well. All right, so um, today we're going to do something a little bit different than I did last time. And I'm going to go ahead and run a full scan with the said uh, antivirus um, updated, updated and uh, installed. So, and uh, let's see, it's a little bit slow. All right, let's do a quick update. Okay, fully updated, I suppose. Good. And then we'll do a full scan. And we'll come right back at the end of the scan. All right, well, uh, scan is completed. You can see what it scanned. And it's kind of weird. All this stuff is just left out here, including the infected executables inside. The executables are scanned once you pull them out of the archive. Uh, but it just leaves a lot of stuff, you know, there. So let's see if that's still there if I hit refresh. Refresh. Yeah, I'm not able to actually click on these. These are kind of like held. Yeah, it's gone now. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's just strange. I don't know what that is, but uh, all right. Anyway, that's day two. Uh, go ahead and upload this now, and then I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, yeah, I forgot to record this at the uh, end of the video. Hey, if you want to go ahead and uh, support what I do, if you like my videos, if you think they've helped you, please contribute like maybe a buck a month. That would like help me convince the wife to allow me to do more of these videos. So anyway, thanks. Bye.